Hi everyone, I'm Max Margana, and I'm here to talk about pairs trading. Now, a pairs trade is a very basic mean reversion strategy. It's probably like a unit quant strategy whenever you're dealing with stuff. You can implement it in a very simple manner, which is kind of how I'm going to be talking about it today, and you can complicate it as much as you want. Ideally, what we want is many, many individual pairs, all grouped into one big portfolio. Now, one individual pairs trade is composed of a set of positions on two assets. So we have two different price series, two different securities just hanging out in the market, and we think that there is some fundamental relationship in how these prices move. We think that there is something, it might be that they're in the same industry, it might be that they're in the same supply chain, but we have some economic hypothesis that leads us to inspecting whether these securities move together in a particular way called co-integration. And what we're looking for when we find co-integration is that we can take some linear combination of these price series such that that linear combination is stationary. So we can take the noise of one price series and explain it away with the noise of another price series such that we get a stationary time series. And what I mean when I say stationary is that it's a set of points indexed by time, in this particular case, because we're dealing with time series, uh, that is all drawn from the same probability distribution. So explaining this noise away with this noise gives us something that we can then estimate the parameters of. Let's say that it's a normal distribution, right? Once we get this stationary time series, we can figure out what the mean of that time series is. We can figure out what the standard deviation of that time series is. And then based on these values, we can make positions based on where we are in relation to the mean. Because as I said, this is a mean reversion strategy, right? So when we get particularly far away from the mean, in this case, we'll say that we're measuring by z-score, right? Let's say we're above the mean. We want to go short on this linear combination until we hit the zero, and then we close out our position. If we're particularly far below the mean, we want to go long on this spread and then wait until we can harvest this return to zero again. So what we've essentially created is this synthetic asset composed of a long position on one security and some number of units short on another security. And as long as we keep these proportions correct whenever we enter and exit positions, then we're going to be maintaining this spread. We're going to be maintaining this stationary spread that we actually want to deal with. And this should actually allow us to um, make bets quantitatively. Now, ideally, we want many, many different pairs trades constructed in the same way so that if one relationship breaks or another relationship breaks, we still have a portfolio of other relationships uh, that will help prevent us from putting too much on any individual set of bets or another. And that's just basic portfolio diversification.